We have new information this morning on the case of a missing man in Prosser. It's now being treated as a criminal investigation. Family members reported 22-year-old Preston Yanni missing on Sunday. On Tuesday, his burnt-out car was found in this gravel pit outside of Sunnyside. The tow truck driver noticed human remains in the trunk and called police. Yakima County's coroner says he's still collecting DNA and dental records to take to Seattle to figure out who was inside the car. Experts are trying to figure out what's killing bees in Oregon by the thousands. Target shoppers in Wilsonville discovered 25,000 dead or dying bees this week scattered across the entire parking lot. And staying in Union Gap, a new manufacturing business is expected to bring 50 new jobs to the area. Paragon Films purchased a 125,000 square foot facility in Union Gap. The first batch of film rolled off the belt this week. The company has already hired about 25 people and officials expect to hire many more in the coming months. And staying on the job front in Pasco, where a new carrot processing plant will bring more employment opportunities as well. The project will be cut into three phases, the first being completed by October. 60 jobs will be created before the end of the year, and more than several hundred will be added once that project is complete in 2015. Jobs will range from labor workers to administration roles. Any new job, I think, we bring to the community that helps move us away from a Hanford economy is a good thing. And this is a local project. The company is in the process of contacting local growers to bring their crops to the plant. Grimway hired local construction companies as well to build the facility. We're turning to Sunnyside this morning where city leaders are asking you to help them pick a new city manager. Sunnyside is hosting a meet and greet event today at 5 p.m. The four city manager finalists will be there. The city is also hosting public interviews at the community center tomorrow where you are asked to ask the applicants a few questions. City officials say it is possible to make a final decision by tomorrow night. Well, the Relay for Life event is just one day away in Yakima. You can join us to help support those who have been affected by cancer. The 24-hour event kicks off tomorrow at noon. Walkers will be on the track at Franklin Middle School. The Luminaria bag you created will be lit at a ceremony starting at 930 tomorrow night. Our Action News team will have a tent set up with a full crew, so make sure you come say hi when you see us, and we've posted more about the relay on KIMATV.com. Tomorrow as well, are you ready to get your parade on? Well, we are here at Action News. It's the Umatilla Landing Days. The event kicks off with the downtown parade at 10.30 a.m. tomorrow in White Swan, where it's been a very tense time for some neighbors. A shooting at a tribal officer, and Action News now knows who the suspect is. Covering the nation for you this morning, the overseas markets are down following a big sell-off on Wall Street. News that Chinese manufacturing has slowed helped to trigger the slide. Analysts say investors are still reacting negatively to the announcement from the Federal Reserve that it may end its massive bond buying program at the end of the year. The Dow Jones lost 353 points. That's the biggest decline since November 2011. Despite the negative news, analysts believe the economy as a whole is still on the rise. Meanwhile, Republicans and Democrats have reached an agreement to strengthen border security, which almost assures the immigration reform bill will pass in the Senate. The deal would almost double the size of the Border Patrol, as well as build 350 miles of new fencing and provide more drones for aerial surveillance. A vote on the legislation is expected to come within the next week. It will then head to the House, where passage is far from certain. And the partying is probably still going on in Miami as we speak. The Miami Heat are back-to-back -back world champions. The Heat beat the San Antonio Spurs 95 to 88 to win game seven of the NBA Finals. LeBron James was named the MVP for helping lead his team to the victory. It is the second year in a row he's won the award. James scored 37 points and added 12 rebounds. Dwayne Wade added 23 points of his own. This is the third NBA title in Miami Heat history. And those are some of the nation's top stories this Friday morning. I'm Lindsay Adams for Action News. Now let's send it back over to Jay. If you're looking for some fun stuff to do this weekend. There's a lot going on. The Umatilla Landing Days Parade, the Relay for Life event in Yakima. There's also a chance to take a look at some sweet rides this weekend. The All Corvette Car Show is tomorrow at Sarge Hubbard Park. The event is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and is free to the public. About 100 Corvettes from around the Northwest of all years. Styles and colors will be there. Any proceeds from the event are donated to the park and Children's Wishes and Dreams.